So let's look at uh, this problem. X and Y are here, uh, jointly Gaussian random variables. Uh, the zero mean, variances, uh, different variances, sigma x squared and sigma y squared, and correlation coefficient rho. So they are not independent. They are uh, dependent random variables. And the problem is to find the joint moments of uh, x to the power of m, y to the power n. So we can get a closed form expression. I'm going to, uh, we'll use the characteristic function. This is the easiest to do. Uh, also an application of uh, characteristic function. <coughs> uh, so this is by definition e to the power j x u plus uh, y v. And if you use it's a standard form, so I'm just going to copy the result minus sigma x squared u squared. So uh, plus two rho sigma x sigma y u v plus sigma y squared v squared. The whole thing divided by two in the exponent. So this is a standard result. You can look it up anywhere. And uh, so I'm going to, uh, the idea is to, we have two expressions. One is the definition, one is the, uh, where, uh, the, the functional form of this because it is jointly Gaussian. So I'm going to, the idea is to expand uh, both of them and then look for this term on both the sides by comparing the coefficients. You'll see what I'm trying to do. So let me start with the one first. So one is by definition e to the power j x u plus y v. And mainly this is just to show you the technique. So this I'm going to write it as e raised to j x u e raised to j y v. Remember these two are uh, not independent. So it's not the product of the expectations. But I can nevertheless, I can expand each of them uh, within uh, as a uh, uh, series. So this becomes x, x u to the power m over m factorial. m goes from zero through infinity multiplied by j y v to the power n over n factorial n also goes from zero to infinity. So if I pull out all the terms, uh, this becomes uh, a double summation on m and n, j to the power m plus n, j, uh, expected value of x to the power m, y to the power n, divided by m factorial, n factorial, u to the power m, v to the power n. And now, uh, keep in mind that j is minus one to the power half, square root of minus one, so I can also write this as m plus n by two, so that I can, I free up the variable for now, uh, free up the uh, symbol j, which I can use on the right side. So let's look at the other expression, which is this expression on the right side. So I'll come back to this uh, a little later. So the other expression is to start with e to the power minus, uh, notice that there are three terms, so I'm going to write them separately. e raised to minus sigma x squared u squared by two, e to the power minus uh, sigma y squared v squared by two, and e to the power plus j, I'm sorry, that also minus from here, a row, but the two cancel, so sigma x, sigma y, u, v. And I'm going to expand this as, uh, <clears throat> uh, this is by the way, the characteristic function of x, y at uh, u comma v. So I'm going to expand this as uh, three summations. So the summation on i is uh, minus sigma x squared, u squared by two to the power i over i factorial uh, minus sigma y squared v squared by two to the power j over j factorial. So this is on j, this is i. And the last one uh, minus rho sigma x sigma y u v to the power k over k factorial. So let me collect all these terms together. So this becomes 
on i j k and uh, if i collect all the terms minus 1 to the power i plus j plus k and then um, now the sigma x squared to the power 2i and there is a sigma x so this is sigma x to the power 2i plus k sigma y to the power 2j plus k uh, then we have rho to the power k then you have u to the power 2i plus k and finally here's a v here v here so 2j plus k to, uh, v to the power of that too and divided by all this uh, stuff in the denominator which is notice there's a 2 to the power i 2 to the power j so that's 2 to the power i plus j then you have i factorial j factorial k factorial uh, so if i bring the this term should be equal to this i can because both of the expansions are characteristic functions so let me bring the other term from the uh, uh, let me bring expression number one here so that's uh, double summation on m j minus one to the power m plus n by two expected value of x to the power m y to the power n u to the power m v to the power n here we have the m factorial n factorial and on the right side on i j k we have uh, whatever we see here minus one to the power i plus j plus k sigma x to the power two i plus k sigma y to the power 2j plus k rho to the power k uh, then u to the power 2y plus k and v to the power 2j plus k this is all in the numerator and the denominator 2 to the power i plus uh, j i factorial j factorial k factorial so notice uh, if you uh, so we can basically look for terms on the right side with the same exponents and uh, match them so that condition is you can see from from here that for u to the power m m should match with uh, 2i plus k and n should match with uh, uh, 2j plus k then we can um, equate this to uh, this side the corresponding term but from here notice what happens from here so from here we get the condition m plus n is 2i plus 2j plus 2k so 2i plus uh, 2j plus 2k that means m plus for this to make sense m plus this is only make going this is only going to be valid uh, uh, true when m plus n is even so you can ask what happened so you cannot have a case here when m plus n is odd or in other words if m plus n is odd the expected value of this should be zero so that's one interesting result second thing is if m uh, so we, uh, i plus j plus k is m plus n by 2 so if you substitute here this is m plus n by 2 so notice that then our term uh, this will cancel with this minus 1 terms are gone so essentially we can uh, equate of this which is the expo coefficient of um bn to the corresponding coefficient which is here for uh, um, uh, on the other side for u to the power m v to the power n so if i do that so let me do that on the next page So we are going to essentially compare, so this is going to be expected value of x to the power m, y to the power n over m factorial, n factorial, of course, u, m, v, n. On the other side, you have three summations, i, j, k, but 2i plus k is m 
and the 2j plus k is n. And then we have, uh, so if you look at here, we had uh, sigma x to the power 2i plus k, but this is m, this is 2j plus k, this is n. Uh, so if you want, we can write this as sigma x to the power m, sigma y to the power n, rho to the power k, over 2 to the power i plus j, i factorial, j factorial, k factorial. So I can, I multiply it by u, m, v, m. So this sort of cancels. And we can bring this here. So essentially we get uh, x, m, y, n. So notice that as I said, if uh, the condition, uh, the interesting condition is m plus n is m plus n is always even. So if m plus one, so first of all, if m plus one is odd, then the expected value of this is uh, zero. And when it is even, it's going to be sigma x to the power m, sigma y to the power n, triple summation on i j k such that two i plus k is m, 2j plus k is n, and then we have here m factorial, n factorial, you could have taken it out, which is from here, and then 2 to the power i plus j, i factorial, j factorial, k factorial, finally rho to the power k. So there may be multiple terms here, uh, which this is for uh, obviously when uh, m plus n is uh, even. So an interesting result is uh, just this, expected value of x to the power m, y to the power n is zero, if uh, m plus n is uh, odd. That's easy. The harder part is the when it is, e uh, what if it is, uh, when it is even, and that's the uh, case when uh, that's even. Now, so we can apply this formula I am going to show you some uh, couple of examples and then uh, just as an application. So let's start with, uh, uh, exp uh, <coughs> let's say expected value of x, y. Uh, so I'm just going to copy it here so that I can, uh, so expected value of x, m, y, n is sigma x to the power m, sigma y to the power n, uh, double summation m factorial n factorial over 2 to the power i plus j actually triple summation i j k i, I factorial j factorial k factorial finally rho to the power k to such that 2i plus k is m and 2j plus k is n. And obviously this is valid when m plus n is even. So let's look at exp expected value of x, y. Of course we know the result. Uh, so here, uh, notice in this case, uh, m is one. So m is 2i plus k is one. That implies i must be zero, k is one. There is no other way n is uh, 2j plus uh, k is 1. So we have j equal to 0, k equal to 1. So the only solution is i equal to 0, j equal to 0, k equal to 1. So if you put it here, you get uh, m is 1, so sigma x, sigma y. From here, uh, this is 1, 1, 2 to the power 0, which is 1, 1, 1, 1, rho. So it simply gets sigma x, sigma y, rho. S, uh, we know it. So we could look at now uh, expected value of x squared, y squared. Here m plus n is, uh, so let's look at here. So this is going to be m is uh, 2, is 2i plus 1, uh, 2i plus k. So we have, uh, we could take i equal to, so two solutions, i equal to 0, then k must be 2. And when i is 1, k is 0. 
same n equal to 2 you have two solutions 2j plus uh, k so j equal to 0 k is 2 and j equal to 1 k is 0 so the two solutions are uh, i equal to 0, j equal to 0, k equal to 2, and i equal to 1, j equal to 1, k equal to 0. So if you substitute into this formula, so first of all, this is common, sigma squared over, uh, so we have it's equal to sigma x squared, sigma y squared, multiplied by m factorial, n factorial, so that's 4. And then 2 to the power, so the first term is i is 0, so this is 1, the 1, 1, k is 2, and rho to the power k, so this is rho squared by 2, the first term. And the when i equal to 1, j equal to 1, k equal to 0, all this is 1, 2 to the power, uh, so we get one more term. Uh, m equal to 2, n equal to 2, we have pulled out. So 2 to the power i plus j, 1 plus 1. So that's 2 rho to the power 0. So that's a half. So the answer turns out to be 2 sigma x squared, 2 sigma y squared multiplied by 1 plus rho squared. I hope this is right. And if you just want to do one more, let's say expected value of x cubed y so three plus one four so this is not zero so here again uh, m is three is two i plus uh, k so this gives us i equal to i equal to 0, k is 3, that's one possibility, i equal to 1, k is 1, and uh, that's it, and n equal to 1, so there is this 2j plus k, so here uh, j equal to 0, and uh, k equal to 1. That's the only possibility. So the only possibility here is uh, to satisfy all this, you only get one solution, i equal to uh, 1, j equal to 0, k equal to 1. So if you substitute that, so notice m is 3, so sigma x cubed, sigma y, uh, sigma y, sigma x cubed, sigma y, multiplied by just one term. So m factorial, that's uh, 3 factorial, 6, so this is 6 here. n factorial is 1 in the denominator, 2 to the power i plus j, so it's a 2 there, 1 over 2. i is, uh, this is 1, this is 1, k is 1, so this is all 1. Uh, rho to the power k, so let's just go. So interestingly, you get 3 sigma x, x cubed sigma y rho. So notice that uh, rho only appears once again as just a single term, like here. I didn't know this. But uh, so you can keep going. So for example, all the other terms like it expected value of x squared y cubed, that will be zero because Whenever this thing adds up, it will be, you know, whenever the exponents add up to all the number, then the, the cross correlation of the, the joint moment is zero. So the even, when the exponents add up to even, we can use this formula. Again, this is just good for Gaussian. And if sigma x and sigma, if they are identical, then simply sigma x and sigma y becomes uh, identical. So in that case, the last expression would be 3 sigma squared rho and so on. 